We're here today at Peacock Waters where I'm going to be targeting skimmer bream and roach. Now the challenge that we've got on this lake is that it's up to 25 feet deep. So with that in mind, uh, my main approach will be we're using ground bait. Now the ground baits that we're going to be using have different purposes. The ultimate purpose of a ground bait is to attract and hold fish. And to do that in this depth of water, I'm going to combine a mixture of roach and that's going to single out roach, but also be filling wholesome enough to, uh, to attract the skimmer bream as well. Second of all, because of the depth of water, we need to know that we're fishing over the ground bait. And that's where the lake comes in. This is a very active mix. There's lots of ground hemp that's going to fizz and pop. And that's going to tell me that my bait's where it needs to be because I'm going to see it pimpling on the surface. And the third element which I'm going to add to the ground bait is this method mix. And that's very coarse and sticky. And it's going to enable me to put together three different types of balls. The balls I'm going to put in are going to be very, very hard initially. That's going to go down to the bottom and break down nice and slowly. Second of all, I'm going to have a sort of semi sort of hard softball, which I want to break down mid depth. And that's then going to draw the fish hopefully down to those three stiffer balls on the bottom. And last but not least, I may even introduce um, the ground bait through loose. And the loose offering will drop slowly through the water. Without doubt, it's windy today, so that attraction is going to be blowing all over the lake. And that's fine because, again, it's, down to, it's to get the fish down onto those three hard balls at the bottom. OK, we're going to start the session and simplicity really is key in these depths of water. So we're going to have two lines, both at 12 and a half metres in around 15 feet of water. Now, on the left hand side, the 11 o'clock line, that's going to be what I call my positive line, where I'm going to put in three solid balls of ground bait that are going to break down nice and slowly. And as I mentioned before, we're going to put in some loose ground bait to try and draw the fish into the peg and draw them down to those hard balls. Secondly, to the right hand side, one o'clock, that's going to be what I'd call my negative line. So we're just going to kick off with one small nugget of hard ground bait and a nice softball over the top with a similar principle. And both lines, I'm going to pin casters over the positive line and maggots over the right uh, of the uh, negative line. And the idea being is those fish could be anywhere in the water column, especially still at the start of spring. Um, so we're not too sure where they're going to be. I want to catch them on the bottom and that's where ground bait comes in. Well, that didn't take long. I've just gone in on that negative line at one o'clock. Just fed a softball of ground bait. I've got double red maggot on the hook. And you can see, 15 foot of water. A big skimmer. I'm just drawing back. Come on. Ooh. Lovely. I think we want to get a look at this one. Well, look at that, a beautiful springtime skimmer breed. Give my ground bait tips a try and you can catch fish like this too.